what up guys so patch 13.14 i think is going to drop tomorrow and the biggest change whatsoever is that augment stats are going to be completely removed if you guys don't know so if you guys play the game at like a relatively high level or even like you play casually you've probably been looking at stats to see like what augments are good or what augments are bad and what riot is going to be doing is the api for the game that you play they're going to be removing that so the sites won't be able to see like exactly what augments you can pick and like uh what their stats are and this is gonna be a really big change because no one's gonna know what's gonna happen really because you never know if like one of the new augments are good or bad you're gonna actually have to play tft and uh, stuff like that so with the changes i've written down like the biggest changes and i'm gonna break it down by comp instead of like going to patch notes so, so it'll go much faster so the first comp at the top also listed by like the current like stats as well so the current comp of uh, Zed Katarina, Zed got nerfed, Katarina got nerfed, Slayer got nerfed, and Rogue got bug fixed. So if you guys don't know the biggest problem of Rogues where they were like, they're really buggy. Half the time they didn't dash the backline. They got CC'd, they didn't dash the backline. But now that can't happen anymore, I think they'll almost always dash the backline. Back line, hopefully, Copium. But uh, I do think it's a net nerf because it did end up nerfing Zed, Cat, and Slayer. So overall, I don't think we'll be seeing as much Zed and Katarina reroll anymore. For Slayer killing Poppy, Poppy got nerfed her at 4 star. Uh, AoE stun went from 1 second to 0.25 seconds. I think it's a pretty big nerf. Slayer also got nerfed. I do think Kale will still be playable, especially if you have Golden Ticket. That's about it, I think, honestly. <clears throat> or like some like really high roll spots. But I do think it's a pretty big nerf to Kale. Kill was probably too broken as a one cost real comp, but it'll still be playable for sure. And also the fact that like assassin comps are gone a little bit, or like like Rose got nerfed a little bit, Kill might even be better. So for Noxus, Darius, and Katarina, uh, Katarina did up getting nerfed a little bit, but it, the nerf isn't like that big. The bigger nerf was to uh, Zed and Slayers. So I do think Noxus will still be good if you have a good opener for it. So the, one of the biggest nerf I think in this patch is actually four multicasters. Apparently it's a bug fix and that four multicasters were doing more damage than, than intended. So if you guys don't know, I think like a lot of people still don't know by the end of the patch, right? But like four mass multicasters, basically the only way to play multicast. You never play two. If you carried Volkaz, you basically never played Sorx either. You always played four multicasters two Sorks, and you play Strategis, and you also end up nerfing Strategis. So I do think this version of Velkaz carry won't be the go-to way. It'll be entirely never be four multicasters. It'll be six Sorks, which will go, will go a comp like later below. So for Zeri and Urgot, this comp, it got buffed. Zeri 80 got buffed. Zeri Duration got buffed. Zeri got bug fixed. So your robotic arm, like, I don't know what it did, but like basically, I don't think it worked that well on Zeri. It was just, just a jinx item. Or got mana got buffed and pilt over uh got nerfed. So basically, I think what I'm trying to do is make Zeri more playable, but also nerf T Hex a little bit and not you don't have to have TX, which I like and is a good direction for uh the comp. So this comp overall got buffed. Also, Sejuani got buffed, but we'll go over that later. That was the next one. Arc Sean. Okay, so Arc Sean. Uh, now every other bullet from his ability counts an attack for items like Winston Rage Blade and Hurricane. So basically uh, every time you attack, it does like this is just half. So basically, Rage and Hurricane, you probably don't want to build it anymore. And you probably just build full AD Arkshan. So you're probably gonna build like GS DBIE, and that's probably gonna be like Bis Arkshan is DB uh, GS and IE. Arkshan's ability, no, oh, also is a really big buff. Like, this is a really, really, really big buff. Like, Arkshan can no longer be CC by control, crowd control on his ability which is like insane buff in my opinion. So I think overall, there's a pretty big buff to Arkshan just because he can't get CC anymore. Also, they buffs to Juani and uh, the shield immediately casts right after the light. But it's like not being able to get CC because you know a lot of times you just like get CC and you blow this go off. So yeah, it's, it's a buff overall in my opinion just because, yeah, this is a buff. Strategist, uh, so she's a zero Nasus. I think overall this comp, honestly, I think it's like net neutral-ish. Because you did lose a little AP, right? But they did have better buffing Lux. And I do think this comp was more so Lux carry than a zero carry because Lux does so much damage. 
But Zero is like, the, like it was kind of like dual carry mostly. But like I do think it's like net neutral because Luck's ability not being able to be CC'd is like huge because. You know, half the times the only reason why you can deal with Lux is because you can CC her. Yeah. So Sork, Lux, and Velkaz. So they buff the shit out of Tarek and they buff Lux a bit. And so I do think it'll no longer be four multicaster always. It'll now be six Sorks or eight Sorks probably. And probably almost never. So they're buffing Tarek by a lot, by the way. So you guys see these numbers? The Tarek one shield now was the old Tarek three shield. And they get they have the mana basically. So now you put a Warmogs. On your Tarek 1, it was, it's basically the old Tarek 3. And that's how bad like Tarek was, really. And Lux ability, can't be CC'd, and damage got buffed. Talion set. So basically, the only place count really with two healthy or double trouble, mostly double trouble. Uh, Talion can no longer throw rocks at knocks ups, target and Zephyr is done. So you guys don't know if your Talia was Zephyr, it still do rocks if like set CC someone. So like that's a pretty big nerf to Talia. Also, Strategist, as you guys know, got nerfed slightly. So to like the Ionia challengers slash Kaisa challengers, basically the only change is Yasuo got nerfed very slightly. I don't think Yasuo need a nerf. I feel like no one even wanted to play challengers last patch. You basically were just like forced to play challengers because none of the four costs were that playable, but now they buffed like a lot of the four costs. So that's pretty good. And our big change here is, uh, oh, Viego got nerfed. Viego, Blade Ruin King, stab damage. Uh, I think they did this because they're buffing like Rogue and they also like buffed the... Uh, they buffed, uh, whatchamacallit, they buffed Shadow Isles a little bit, this patch as well. Alright, so Bruiser, Rek'Sai, and Kai'Sa. So Rek'Sai, damage got buffed. I do think Rek'Sai was the lowest of the three cost reroll comps that were, like, good. And also they buffed uh, Bruiser damage as well. So it was probably a pretty good buff that Rek'Sai probably needed because Rek'Sai was, like, slightly worse than the three cost reroll comps. And now these are, like, the big changes, like, the big buffs. Aphelios got buffed, Urga got buffed. Ash got buffed, Sejuani got buffed, Terra got buffed. I'm better for a so 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 Dead Aphelios will probably be really good next patch as well. Because of the buffing like Aphelios, Urgot, Ash, Sejuani, and Terek, and you play them all in like the Dead Aphelios and Urgot comp usually. And they all got buffed all together while some of the other comps got nerfed. So you'll probably be seeing a decent amount of like Aphelios as well. Also Arkshan got buffed, especially in like non- uh, Arkshan comp with like out Hurricane, so Arkshan got buffed as well. I just didn't include it because I put it here. So Jinx, Jinx and Vi basically only put this comp when you had Robotic Arm and they're nerfing Robotic Arm and they're nerfing uh, how the interaction works or how Hurricane and Rageway works. So the only times you really played Jinx was when you had Robotic Arm plus like Hurricane. So I think this overall net nerf to Jinx reroll. I don't know why the stats are so bad because people are probably playing it like in the wrong spots when it's not robotic arm. But this is a pretty, I think this is just a, overall just a nerf to like uh, Jinx robotic arm, which was like by far the only time you played it. Okay, now this is the biggest change and I do think this will be the new like go-to comp, at least that everyone will be trying on day one. And that is Invoker, six Invokers basically. So if you guys don't know, they're buffing Karma, they're buffing Soraka, they're buffing Galio, they're doing a massive buff to Tarek, they're buffing Cassiopeia, and they're buffing art, which is basically your end game invoker board. So Karma's damage is getting buffed, and the AP for Yet for is getting nerfed, which is actually really good for Karma because uh because uh whatchamacallit. The way that Karma works in invokers at least, you don't really fit Ionia usually until later on. So you didn't have the Ionia buff anyways. So and so Raka's damage getting buffed, Galio's getting more tanky. I could see this leading up to like Galio Soraka reroll comps as well. Tarek is getting a huge buff, like the biggest buff I've ever seen on Yen Champion have in all of TFT. Cassiopeia is getting a small buff. I do think mana does outweigh the damage because Cassiopeia is a unit that you cast twice in order to do more damage because the first cast usually does less damage. And Ari is getting a really, really big buff because like cast time wise, I think Ari was uh, casting really slow. So what do I think of the patch? I think uh, the biggest comp, like, I mean the two biggest like comp buffs are basically Aphelios and uh, Invoker. So I think we'll be seeing like that go to AP comp will probably be Aphelios and go to AD comp. I mean, AP comp will be Car uh, Invokers and go to AD comp is going to be Aphelios because they're buffing like everything in the comp for both of them. And yeah, that's just like a quick Petros rundown. If you guys want to see like uh, the entire, all the changes that they put, I just put the changes in the patches to keep the video short. You can always check out like the notes they put down. And I'll see you guys next time.
people bye